Hello, my beautiful humans. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome to the fam. And if you're not new, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be filming a morning and night routine for you guys. I cannot stress how important having a morning and night routine is for me. And it is going to be completely game changing if you take a few of these tips that I post in this video and you start applying it to your daily routine. It will definitely make a difference in your productivity throughout the day, your stress, your time management. And overall, it's just going to relieve so much much of that overwhelmed feeling that you get throughout the week from you because you're going to have a plan and as long as you execute with that plan you're going to be successful that being said let's just get right into it so i personally love waking up bright and early in the mornings just because honestly it really helps me get my day started on the right foot if i wake up exactly when I'm supposed to and I don't wake up with enough time to spend time with myself in the morning. I find myself feeling more overwhelmed throughout the day, feeling more stressed. I get grumpier easily and I just feel more overwhelmed and I hate feeling like that. So me having my me time in the morning is extremely important to me and that's why I wake up as early as I do. I wake up at around 6.30 to 6.45 ish. Sometimes my alarm snoozes and I'll wake up a little bit later. That's totally fine though. From there, I go straight to the bathroom. I brush my teeth. After I brush my teeth, I'll go ahead and do my skincare. As you guys could see, I use my cleanser in the morning. I also go ahead and use my vitamin C serum. And then I also use SPF. It's really important that we put sunscreen on every single day to protect our face. So if that's not currently something you're using in your morning or your daily skincare routine, I would highly recommend doing that. Also having a skincare routine in the morning is just one of those things that makes you feel put together. It gets you excited for your day so i would definitely recommend just having a skincare routine it doesn't have to be over complicated do something that works well for you and your skin and just stay consistent with it After my skincare, I'll go ahead and fill up my water bottle. I usually go ahead and drink from this water bottle every single day, it's a gallon. So I just make sure to fill it all the way up in the morning and drink it by the end of the day and I'll be good to go. So after I get my water, I'll go ahead and sit down at my desk and I'll grab my planner, the book that I'm currently reading and my gratitude book as well. What I do first is I write down in my gratitude book, as you guys could see, it's just a short little prompt. It asks you a question about something, let's say what you wanna do for your life in 10 years from now, or write a list of something that you're grateful for. It usually gives you like a prompt to write something about and then you just write something underneath it. It's an awesome way to remind yourself of your goals daily, as well as just reminding yourself how blessed you are on a daily basis as well. So I always fill that out first thing in the morning, and then I'll go ahead and read my book for about 10 to 15 minutes. I read one chapter a day, and sometimes it takes me 10 minutes, sometimes it takes me five minutes, depends on how long the chapter is, but I just make sure to read one chapter every single morning. Right now I'm reading You Are a Badass by Jess, I forgot her last name, I'm sorry. I'll go ahead and put her name somewhere on the screen, but it's an amazing book and I highly recommend it if you're currently looking for something to read. Right after that, I'll go ahead and plan out my day. Now, planning out my day is the best part of my day in my opinion. If I didn't have a plan, if I didn't have a planner, I would be a hot mess. And a lot of people are a hot mess because they don't take time to plan their days out in a planner. I used to be someone that would never write anything in a planner. I would use Google Calendar here and there, but I never really had a plan in my day. And the second I started using a planner that actually works, because I've had planners before, but sometimes they just don't have enough space and 
I end up just not using them. So the planner that I have is the high performance planner. If you guys want, I'll go ahead and link it down below. I think on Amazon, it's only like $20. It is a very affordable planner and I absolutely love the layout. It has time slots. It has a gratitude journal for the morning and the evening. It has so many things. It's two pages just for one day. It has so much space. It has a notes section. It has a top priorities section. And for me, that is exactly what I need and more. It is perfect if you're someone who has a lot of stuff to do throughout your day and it's very easy to get overwhelmed that way, I would recommend a planner like this so you could plan out exactly what you're gonna do every single minute of the day. That way, by the time you go to sleep, you go to sleep with a clear mind knowing you did everything that you had to do. I personally love highlighting things once I'm done. That way, by the time I go to bed, everything is highlighted and it just makes me feel so accomplished and so productive. If you don't have a plan, you're more than likely going to fail and you're going to feel overwhelmed so if you're not currently planning your days out again i would highly recommend using a planner and i'll go ahead and link my planner down below right after i finish planning out my day i'll go ahead and make my bed Making your bed is honestly just one of those things that makes you feel so good. It's a little task that you could do in the morning that could turn your entire day upside down and it can get you started on the right foot because it helps you feel organized. It helps you feel like you're in a clean environment and there's nothing more motivating than a clean environment and then an organized environment. So for me, making my bed in the morning makes me feel incredible. Sometimes I'll do it. Sometimes my boyfriend will do it. Whoever gets to it first, um, but we always make sure to make our bed every single morning. And then last but most certainly not least, I need to have my morning coffee. It's a ritual for me. I love making my iced coffee the way that I do. I'll go ahead and leave the iced coffee maker um, that I got off Amazon. I'll leave it down below because I have been absolutely loving it. It leaves me enough coffee for about a week and a half and it is so amazing. If you're an iced coffee snob like I am, I would highly recommend using it. I go ahead and put some nut milk in there, some almond milk creamer, I love the caramel one, and of course, some whipped cream because I am a fiend for whipped cream. I cannot have my coffee without whipped cream or else I will literally cry. So that's my morning routine. I find that it helps keep me productive throughout the day, helps keep me feeling accomplished and I think having a morning routine is extremely important. The first five minutes of your morning could either set you up for success or set you up for failure. So if you don't currently have a morning routine, it doesn't have to be my exact morning routine, but find something that'll work for you, find something that's sustainable, find something that you're actually gonna be able to stick to and stick to it for at least four weeks. Do me that favor. I challenge you to at least do it for four weeks and just get back to me on how you're feeling. It's going to be absolutely game changing for you. All right, now going into the night routine. So my night routine varies on a daily basis depending on how my day is going, but on average, this is kind of how it goes, okay? So I start off with my skincare routine. Again, I always do my skincare in the morning and in the evening, it makes me feel so good. I've recently been much more on top of it, so it's been feeling amazing. My skin has been looking amazing. If you guys want me to do a skincare routine video, please let me know and I'd be more than happy to. But I used some of the same products that I already used in the morning. So I went ahead and used the same cleanser, used the same vitamin C serum. The only thing I switched up was the moisturizer I use at night. I used a moisturizer that is specifically for the nighttime and it's a hydrating moisturizer and then in order to really seal that in i go ahead and use a rose hemp seed oil i'm pretty sure that's what it is correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure it's the ordinary rose hemp seed oil um i use that right after applying the vitamin c serum as well as the Beauty Sleep by Tula. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I do apply toner before pl applying anything to my face. So in the morning, I'm sure you saw, but I went ahead and used toner. I love the Witch Hazel toner. And then I also use that at night before applying the moisturizer, the vitamin C serum, and the oil. So I always use that on a daily basis as well. And that's pretty much it for my nighttime skincare routine. Right after that, I love to clean. There's nothing I love more than cleaning at night because guess what? When you clean up your apartment at night, it doesn't have to be a whole cleaning. You don't have to scrub everything down and do a full on cleaning and organizing sesh, but there's nothing more motivating than waking up to a clean environment, especially for myself. I work from home, so everything needs to be clean and organized all the time because if not, I feel like a mess and then I become unproductive. 
always wipe down all the kitchen counters at night. I'll do the dishes. If there's anything that I need to put away in the dishwasher, I'll do that before putting stuff in the dishwasher to wash. But typically there's always going to be stuff that's already dirty in the dishwasher. So I'll just put everything that's in the sink in the dishwasher. I'll put the dishwasher to work. I'll clean the stove top. I'll clean all the kitchen counters. I'll light a candle, make things smell good, make things look good. I'll clean up my living room, fold the blanket, get the pillows on the couch again because my dog is a nutcase and always destroys everything throughout the day. So by the time the night comes, Everything is on the floor. His toys are all over the place and it honestly just gives me anxiety. So I need to just clean up. I also do about one load of laundry every single day. Between my boyfriend and I, we always have laundry to do. So throughout the week, we'll start washing loads and just putting them away. That way we don't have to do such a large amount on the weekend. So I'll go ahead and either transfer something that's in the washer to the dryer or take something out of the dryer and I'll go ahead and put that in the room and I'll fold it and I'll put it away. That way by the time the weekend comes, we don't have like six loads of laundry to do. We like to do it throughout the week, spread it out. And I just love cleaning up my apartment before bed because like I said, when I wake up, it motivates me. I feel inspired, I feel clean, I feel organized and it helps me be a lot more productive. Your environment can either make or break you. So it's really important that you just keep your apartment or your house or whatever you have organized on a daily basis. You'll notice that that alone is going to make you be so much more productive and so much more motivated. After I'm done cleaning everything up and doing my laundry and all that good stuff, I go ahead and grab my Zen. I like to take Zen, which is a CBD product. It's absolutely incredible, lowers your stress levels and just helps you get ready for bed. And when you're sleeping, you're not gonna wake up with this stuff. It is absolutely amazing. Helps you get the quality of sleep that your body needs in order to recover properly and in order for you to feel good the following day. So I take this about 30 to 45 minutes before bed. It does take a little bit to kick in. So that's why I take it around that time. And I'll go ahead and link that down below for you guys as well. If you want, you could use my discount code FITK and it'll save you 10% on your order. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that. And last but most certainly not least, I started meditating again. I am so freaking happy that I started meditating again. It's something that I kind of go on and off with sometimes. So I'm trying to get better with it. Um, but I hadn't meditated in like two months. So I just started meditating again this week and it's honestly already helping my mental health so much. I love using the app called Headspace. If you guys aren't familiar with it, it's pretty much an app where they guide you through meditation. So it's a guided meditation. If you're a beginner, this is absolutely amazing. You could do anywhere from five to 60 minutes of meditation and they guide you through it. And it is absolutely amazing. I started with 10 minutes and then I'll slowly focus on working my way up but I love meditating it's incredible for your mental health and right after that I honestly just go to sleep so I hope this was helpful if you guys don't have a morning and night routine like I said earlier I challenge you to make a morning and night routine that's going to work best for you as an individual you could take some of the stuff that I'm doing and definitely apply them to your routine but at the end of the day you need to do something that's going to be successful for you pick a morning and night routine that's going to help you as an individual and that's going to help you thrive and feel your absolute best on a daily basis. I challenge you to do it for the next four weeks. Be consistent with it. It doesn't have to be a whole 15 or 20 minute morning and night routine. It could be anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, honestly. So just do what's going to work best for you. I challenge you for the next four weeks to do it. Leave a little red heart down below if you are down for this challenge and get back to me on how you're feeling four weeks from now. I am so excited to hear what you guys think about a morning and night routine and how it helps you. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a like, smash that notification bell so that you never miss any of my videos and go ahead and also smash that subscribe button. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a beautiful night, evening, day, morning, whenever it is that you're watching this and I will catch you in the next video.